Hi everyone, it's Sandra. In today's video we're going to have a look at some vintage jewelry that I bought from some estate collections. I hope you enjoy this video. If you just came to watch, I'm glad you did. If you want to buy anything, just reach out to me, okay? At I am the funky pickle at gmail.com. Let me know below what your favorite piece is and subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. All right, let's get going right now. This is one of the most beautiful cameos I've ever seen. It's carved shell. The details are outstanding. Look at the headdress. This is a cameo of Athena. She is the goddess of wisdom and warfare. Wow, that's amazing. I love to wear warrior type jewelry or jewelry that makes me feel like a warrior. I have kind of this vicious looking wolf ring that I love to wear when I'm stressed, like going to the doctor or something like that. And I look down at it just to remind myself. If you want to feel like a warrior, I think this might do the trick. This is sterling silver. I don't see any marks on it. However, it does test for sterling. It's magnificent, isn't it? Gorgeous. Next up, we have this sterling silver cuff bracelet. This is such a neat piece. I have no idea who this maker is. It's Coca Pelli and it says sterling below it. Super cool bear paw necklace, um, bracelet. And it's sort of average size. Let me try to get a measurement of it. This measures approximately seven inches around the inside, but it can be made bigger or a little bit smaller too. Fantastic Southwest design. Here's a pretty pendant. This one is very colorful. It is sterling silver. It is marked right there. I think that says one of a kind, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, this is the faith, love, hope symbol. I love this anchor. I love that the anchor is the really big one. An anchor is an awesome sign of stability and strength. But what I really like about the symbolism of it is that an anchor can always be moved. You can always lift it up and make another plan. I love the symbolism of this. Nice big, big bale, too. Let me see if I can find my torque and then we can put it on the neck. This is a great statement piece. You can see it's not very small. Nice bright colors, sterling silver. Great symbolism. This one is uh, very light, too, just FYI. Here's a pretty silver ring. This is way too big for this hand. It's Mark 925. I think the, the blue is uh, just glass. It's very pretty. I love butterfly jewelry. Let's uh, check the size. I, I think it's kind of big. We'll find out. It's about a 10 and a half. Isn't it pretty? Put it on this silver part so that it stands out a little bit more. You can see it. Cute. Hey, does anybody like cats? How cute is this? I don't think this is very old, but I do think that it's very cute. Okay, it is unmarked. I like the green eyes and the tail too. That is adorable. Look at this amazing Art Nouveau buckle. That is a uh, mother of pearl. It's a little bit, it's a little bit loose. Not a big deal. 
Now, one way that people wear these, I don't know if you can do it with this because it's so big. Well, I don't see why not. Let me hook it up. So what people do is they take a like a thick piece of black ribbon and you can put it through there and wear this as a choker. How would that look? Wow. This is a beautiful old item. I love it. Look at all the the stuff going on. Look at all the details. It's a beautiful thing. Wow. This beautiful necklace, I think, is handmade. There's no markings on it, but it does test for sterling silver. It's so cool. Very modernist. I think it's very interesting. And it will include this chain, too. Let's try it on. This is on about an 18-inch chain. This is quite special. I wonder if it's a one-of-a-kind. It might be. It's cool. This necklace is very big. It's a choker. It's about 15 inches long or so. It's very, very light. I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know if it's some sort of aluminum. I love it, though. This is real, like, fashionista kind of stuff. I don't think everybody could get away with wearing this. And this is Trafari made in France. I believe this dates to the early 50s. I looked it up once. That's what I that's what I think. But let's put it on and you'll see what I mean about how stylish it is. There it is from the side. It's like big. These loops are really big. Nice thick piece, very, very lightweight. Certainly can never go wrong with Trafari. And you don't often see this made in France Trafari. It's different. This bracelet is about seven inches long. This is one of the better beach ones that I've seen. I love the pale sand dollar sandal or flip-flop starfish and it is sterling let's see it on the hand it's a great bracelet to wear if you're at the beach or if you're just thinking about the beach i think this bracelet is from the 20s this is an awesome deco piece. Let's check for missing marcosites. I don't see any. It looks good, right? This is very nicely made. And it is marked sterling. This is a nice quality piece. And there's the mark. I don't know if I already said what the measurement is. It's about seven and three quarters inches. It's so sleek. I love Art Deco stuff. Not easy to find either. It's a knockout. How about this interesting brooch? I guess you can wear it any way you want. I love the blue and green together unmarked. I like the setting on this. That's awesome. Cool piece. 
Look at this pretty old pendant. It's a beautiful shade of blue. It is marked 925 there. It's there. And it's going to include this sterling silver chain, which is about 18 inches long. The chain didn't originally come with it. I think it was added later. I think the chain is much uh, newer than the pendant is. But let's see if we can bring it into the light a little bit. Hold on, i got to hold it better than that. It's pretty, isn't it? I love the smoothness of it. Looks like a tiny little flea bite right there. Other than that, it's good. I don't think that would even show. It's kind of quirky the way it's faceted. Flat on the bottom. It's small and delicate. This would look great worn alone or layered with something else too. It's kind of odd, which is what I, I like about it. Here's a cool bracelet. I think this is from the 60s, maybe the 50s. But look at that one charm. This measures about seven inches long. There's a little bit of wear to the gold tone here and there. Nothing bad. That's a cool charm, though. And I like that there's only one. Let's put it on the wrist. That's the kind of vibe. Of course, this is the heaviest part, so this would like dangle underneath the wrist. That's a cool vintage bracelet. Here's a beautiful bracelet. Lots of marcasites. Look at it from the side. Nice construction on this. Lots of silver. See how thick it is? This one is sterling. There's a the mark, 925. I think this has some nice age on it. Just checking for missing. Everything looks good, right? This measures about seven and a half inches long. It's a really nice piece. This is a cool demi. Here's a little pin. Look, how, look at the iridescence. It's small. I love it though. And here are the earrings. So you see these backs? These are either Hillcraft or Castlecraft. Really neat collectibles. There are people who collect this type of earring. I love that set. Isn't it pretty? It's delicate. Let me try to bring one of these into the light. I'm not sure if it's coming across on my camera, how, how pretty it is in the light. Beautiful. That's very, very pretty molded glass, isn't it? Here's a cute brooch. I love the Japaning on this one. And this one is clearly marked. It looks like it says Koro, but it actually says Capri. And that's beautiful, but it comes with awesome earrings. Look at that. And this could easily be taken off and made into pierced ears. Wow, how cool would that be, pierced earrings, I mean. I love these colors. There it goes, sorry, it was backwards. This is a very cheerful, happy set of jewelry. Pretty colors. This is a pretty ring. Interestingly, it's not silver. It sure looks like it is, but it isn't. I did test it. It's very sparkly. It's a beautiful purple flower ring. Nice height. No marks that I saw. And I think this one may be 
a bigger size too. Let's check it out. It's a size nine. Look at it from the side. It's pretty, right? Here's a cool choker. This has about a six inch drop when it's on its largest setting there. But look at that tassel. This isn't plastic. It's very dramatic. Let's put it on. Isn't that stylish? Lots of movement with this tassel. There is some adjustability. Like I said, you can make it shorter. What is that? Maybe two inches shorter or so. Here it is from the side. This one has a, an elegance, but this tassel gives it a, a touch of fun too. This is a very fun Art Deco style brooch. It's very modernist. It is marked JJ. There's the cartouche right there. I love this piece. Let's just make sure I close it so I don't stab myself. Who else stabs themselves all the time? I hate that. Very interesting item. I like the fact that they have no faces, no legs. It's artistic, I think. This is a beautiful Honora pearl necklace. I think it's new. See the plastic right there? And this does say sterling silver. There's the H for Honora, 925 China. And then this bottom is just a base metal. I believe these are peacock keshi pearls. These are quite collectible. They're certainly quite beautiful. Look at how different each one is. I believe these are freshwater pearls, but I, I think they may be naturally formed. I could be wrong about that. New and unworn. Let's put it on the neck. How pretty is that? This measures about 20 inches long or so. I love Honora pearls. I've had a lot of them. I've sold tons of them. And I believe this is a QVC or HSN. It's a cool company. You can see why they're called Peacock, right? Beautiful. This locket is very interesting because of its shape. M-E-L. This is what it says right there. It's in nice condition. Look at the edges of it. I've never seen one this shape before. I love lockets so much. And this one certainly has a story to tell. The pictures are long gone. I wonder who was in here. Isn't that charming? I love it. I'm getting ready to sell this bracelet, so I'll give you guys first uh, dibs on it. This is a Trafari, but this is a very, very rare Trafari. I don't even know if there are any up for sale on the internet anywhere. Let's find the signature. There it is, Trafari with the copyright symbol. I believe this was made in 1976. It was a limited edition item and it was to commemorate the touring of King Tut. I miss that exhibit. I mean, I was a little, little kid, but. I sure wish I had seen that. I bet you some of you have. It's in nice shape. The spring works fine. There is some loss to the gold plating, as you might expect. What a great item this is. I wasn't going to sell it, but I haven't really been wearing it that much. I wore it a few times. Uh, we paid a lot of money for this, actually, in an antique store. Let's uh, try it on. You can never go wrong buying Trafari. Something like this will hold its value. Why wouldn't it? It's very interesting. I like how sinewy it is. Is that a word? <laughs> I think it is. 
a lot of personality, right? It's a great collectible. Love Trafari. By the way, this measures about six inches around the inside, so it's kind of a small one. It's a good one, though. I think this ring is stainless steel. I think it may be for a man. It kind of looks it, but I would wear it, no problem. Just trying to see if there's a mark. Oh, there is. I need to know that. What does that say? Oh, boy. Tungsten carbide. Well, there you go. Let's see how big it is. It's a size nine. I love it. Let me um put it on the hand. It's a pretty piece. I like the way the light catches on the crosses. Until then, they're kind of hidden. And of course, the great controversy, do you wear it facing you so you can enjoy it, or do you wear it so that others can enjoy? I never wear it so that other people enjoy. I always wear it for me. I'm a very selfish person, I guess. <laughs> Sweet ring. I have time for one last thing today. This is a very pretty Scandinavian piece. Very modernist. This, I think, is mid-century. And it is signed right there. Sterling Denmark, N.E. From. I have had other pieces by From. I've sold them. I think... Well, I think I might have more, but these come with the, this comes with the earrings too, the matching earrings. Let's see if these are also signed. They should be. Yes. Any from Denmark. Isn't that a cool set? Collectible name brand for sure. Here, I'll put them like this because they do both go the same way. Pretty sterling silver Scandinavian set. Of course, you're going to let me know what you think below and subscribe to the channel. It does help me out and it's free for you to do that. Reach out to me if you want anything. I am the funky pickle at gmail.com. I hope to catch you on the next one. Everybody take care until then. All right. Bye-bye.